Hey there, everyone. I wanted to officially welcome uh, all of the watchers out there to the first episode of the new show, Discussions of Darkness, that we're going to be doing here on the Azekale Games YouTube channel. And since this is our first episode, I want to explain to people what the show is going to be about, what sort of things you can expect going forward, and before we finish it out, uh, tell everyone how you can all participate and how you can shape the content as it comes out uh, while we put shows together. Uh, but before we do anything else, what is the show about and what can you expect to hear on it? And really, the idea behind Discussions of Darkness is just that. Of We've been putting out a lot of World and Chronicles of Darkness content over the past year and change, and as Kale Games has no intention of stopping as far as its Storyteller's Vault products are concerned, so I thought that it would be a good idea to sort of sit back and discuss the game settings, the various spheres that you can play in, and explain how those games can be enhanced by the products we've created, but also to sort of give general advice as someone who has played a lot of the World and Chronicle setting myself, and lay out all of the traps people often fall into, both as players and as storytellers, and sort of give folks a, uh, a leg up when it comes time to revisit the dark and dreary streets that exist in these settings. And it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, but why should you care who I am? Why does my opinion have anything to say? And for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Neil Leatherland. I'm an RPG creator who's been in the game going on eight years now, I think. And while I have never officially worked for either White Wolf or Onyx Path as an actual employee, I have been a freelancer and I've worked for a lot of other companies, Paizo, Flaming Crab, High Level Games, uh, Azekale Games, of course, and several others. And throughout that time, I have worked on a lot of Storyteller's Vault products. I've talked to a lot of other creators in the space. And in addition to being a creator, this is a setting I've really been playing in for the past 15 years or so. Uh, I started off with Vampire, and once I got to play something other than standard Dungeons & Dragons, there was no stopping my interest. I devoured Vampire, moved into Werewolf. Once I moved from Werewolf, I found Changeling. And every time something new came out, I had to see what it was and how it figured into the overall mythos. And part of what you get with that sort of love of the setting is you find where all the cracks are and where things don't really work together, and you learn to make a lot of mistakes, both in character creation and story arcs you try to tell, and some of the edgier places that, looking back on it, the 90s probably could have standed to go without. And so my hope is that I can bring across some of the lessons that I've learned, I can give folks some help, both as players and as storytellers, and I can just sort of bring people back to this setting that I really enjoy, and then it makes me sad. Lots of folks have either never heard of, or they tried it a few times, decided it wasn't for them, and then left before they got to the Chewy Center where all the good stuff was. And that's who I am, that's what the show's going to have going forward, and how you can help, and this is, this is the big part of it is because this show is still relatively new. We have several ideas. There are several, not full scripts, but ideas that want to be covered. And more than anything else we've done so far, I want to hear from you, the audience. Are you a regular player of these settings? If so, what's your favorite game in them? Um, if you have a particular sphere you want to hear us cover, if you've had a particular issue that you've come across as either a World of Darkness or Chronicle of Darkness player, whether it's getting your players invested, whether it's overcoming some of the more thorny issues that are baked into some of the settings, let's say, or whether it's just trying to get people interested in it, because as soon as you open your mouth and say, I want to run a vampire game, I want to run a werewolf game, people just stop paying attention. Whatever, it is you, whatever issue it is you're having, that's something I want to add into the list of shows to cover, and it's just something I want to help folks with, because it's a great setting, and those of us who really enjoy it need to band together, and hopefully, if we find some stuff that the community really likes, that'll lead to new projects either for supplements that can be written, or short stories that can be told, maybe make a few things into live plays or audio dramas, whatever it is that comes forward. And so we're on the ground floor right now. Nothing's really set in stone. Everything's very loose and free. So throw your opinions out there. Let us know what you want. And the more people who want something, the more likely it is you are to get it. So until next time, when we'll have an actual topic to discuss and something to dig, our, dig into and sink our teeth into, happy gaming, everyone.